I got a lot of uh, comments on that picture that hangs behind me. Um, people wondering what it was. And uh, I'd like to start by telling you that that I've told you, I think, in various videos, but I'd like to go into a little more detail. That is a photograph I took in 1985, the first of my photography that I started taking amateur. And um, I've taken various pictures, as I think I told you, that hang around my uh, house, uh, hang all over my house, I should say, from different parts of the world. But this one here behind me, I video from because it actually is one of my favorites and has a lot of sentimental meaning to me personally. This, as I said, was, it is in no shape if you've seen the full picture of it, which I will show it at the end, just lift the camera to let you see it if you haven't. Um, it's an old barn, beautiful barn, one of the most beautiful barns on the east part of the United States it was, probably constructed somewhere around the late, I guess, 19, early 1900s, late 1800s. Um, the cupola, so to speak, uh, had a part on the tip of the uh, barn with a um, a compass, uh, northeast, southwest, with a chicken on top. Very, very beautiful. People, as I said, came from all over the world. They painted, they photographed it, they oiled it, they watercolored it. Um, and this is one of many, many similar barns that lay in a, a hillscape, for lack of a better term, off Latin Town Road, just north of Marlboro. As I told you, the barn is very, very old. I don't want to be redundant. I got to kind of find out where I left off here. But uh, the barn was very, very significant and it held sentimental value. A lot of my paintings, a lot of my pictures that I photographed throughout the world have a lot of sentimental value, but not like the one behind me. The one behind me brings me back to truly my grandfather of my mother and it just takes me back in time and I'm that kind of person that you will see or if you haven't seen over my videos. But to get back to the barn, the barn was, and I've said it and I'm being redundant, I don't mean to be, it was a curing barn. Which means that we used to take our animals to this barn, was owned by Mr. Quimby Q-U-I-M-B-Y, you could look this up, Marlboro, New York. I don't think the barn is standing. If it is, it's probably just remnants. But the area is absolutely beautiful. You think you're in a Swiss highlands. That's how beautiful it is. Different barns and sheep and cows and all that. It's lovely. Anyway, we used to bring our cows, bring our pigs. I don't know, just bring whatever various animals we wanted to have slaughtered, which they would, they had a big block and tackle, and they'd lower it into with boiling water in to be skinned, and then gutted, and then cleaned, and then they'd cut it up, put it into pieces, and then deliver it to our homes. And we would put it in the freezer, and we have that food for the winter. So it was a very, very, very enjoyable um, time, and very memorable moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the my iPad and let you see the full scope. I'm trying. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm relatively successful there. That's the best I can do it. It's all plugged in. But that is a picture of the barn that a lot of you have asked about, and I'd love to share it with you. But yeah, that was taken by me around 1985. That was my first photography shot. And from that, I got the bug, and from there, it's history. But I do appreciate, 
and I took the time out of my videos to let all of you know if there were interest. I think there were quite a few that did comment on it that I'd like to let you know what it is, whose it was, where is it, upstate New York, about 70, 80 miles north of New York City, up the throughway, Marlboro, Latin Town Road, Quimby is the former it was. I don't know who owns it now. But anyway, that is the history of the barn. I'm glad that many of you out there have made comments and like it and are wondering about it because that's what I did before I took the shot. As a kid, I always went by it, I saw it, I was in it, but I never brought something that I don't know what to say that was so memorable to me to light and I've had it done in a beautiful uh, frame and so on. But uh, I had offers to sell that barn. I don't want to get into it at least three or 400 times for postcards and whatever. I, I never wanted to share my work. I just wanted it to be individual. And uh, I am very, very happy that I could share it with you. And I'm happy that some of you were that interest to ask me a question about it. I hope I've answered your questions. If you have any further on any of my videos, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much for your time. God bless. Have a beautiful day.